Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the first weekly update for launching innovation in schools, the XQ edition. Um, just about every week, I'll post one of these little missives to give you a sense of all the great work that's happening inside the course and to remind you of some important logistical notes and those kinds of things. Um, we still have one more week left for Unit 0 and 1. The suggested deadline for assignments 1.1 and 1.2 um, is October 25th, and then we'll launch uh, Unit 2 on October 26th. Thanks to all of you who joined us for the live event. It was great to meet uh, high school innovators from all across the country. Um, if you missed that event, you should feel free um, to watch the recording and post any thoughts you have about it uh, in the forums. Great to see all the introductions that we've had in the forums. Really fun to meet folks from all across the country who are participating in this. Um, special welcome to all of you um, who've uh, introduced yourselves to us. Um, we're especially excited to hear from all of you who've been forming learning circles. Um, if you're in a learning circle, you can use the groups area to, of the forums to collaborate if that's helpful to you. Um, we also have a group specifically for learning circles facilitators where facilitators can talk to one another and get advice from some of our community TAs and staff about challenges or things they've found helpful in their face-to-face -face meetings. Um, we link some resources there to start, uh, but we encourage you to fill the space with your own ideas. Um, we really encourage folks to participate in learning circles if you can. We think it's a great way for you to have other folks to reflect on um, the materials that you're learning and thinking about in the course. But probably most importantly, it gives you a community of people that you can collaborate with um, as you're trying to launch change in the schools you're creating in the future or the schools that you're in right now. Um, there's a group of 20 people that are taking it together, um, led by uh, Rita Fisher from District 128. Um, so that's really fun to hear about that. Um, and uh, grateful for the terrific photo on Twitter they posted of some happy looking folks during the YouTube live event. Um. Also in the forums, you can join affinity groups, which are groups of learners around shared interests, subjects, or geographic locations. Um, there's a group that's been formed around competency-based learning. So Greg Gilson from Peoria, Illinois at the Manual Academy is looking for fresh insight on designing and implementing competency-based learning models. Um, and we encourage folks who are interested in similar things to introduce yourself to Greg there. Um, we have some general tips for starting virtual groups on the weekly update page. Um, some great conversation already in the forums around the This We Believe video and the uh, introduction to XQ edition. Um, Angelo Barbosa um, wrote about uh, um, how the vision for education needs to be, a, in fact, a driving force um, and that uh, so many schools end up spending their time just focused on the day-to-day -day and uh, keeping things afloat, but there has to be some effort at thinking about uh, larger vision and larger challenges. Um, and then Shane Swift replied um, with how important it is for that vision to be truly shared um, so that the conversations that take place in lots of different contexts ultimately lead to inclusive models of leadership. So really fun to see that folks are already um, in conversation with one another um, and with our colleagues from XQ and uh, all the other colleagues from across the country who are doing great work together. Excited to be learning on alongside you for the next few weeks. If you have uh, questions or comments or thoughts, please post them in the forum or you can find me um, on Twitter at, at BJFR. Um, just incredibly excited to start this journey with you and thanks for a terrific first week.